Hello, Analysis Pro here, representatives of Naxport and ClipDraw for the UK and Ireland. I just wanted to make a quick follow up video from the video that I made last week on the angles. We use Pro Plus and Elite Naxport software to look at syncing up to four angles. But here I am in Naxport Scale Plus, and you can still link two angles together. You can see here that I can toggle through each angle using these icons. You can use Hotkey as well, or view them in a side by side mosaic as well. So you will notice also that since last week, the Naxport version six update has happened. So you can see some um, changes to my template, like these hexagons here, I really like those. You can also see a different style when you click the manual mode buttons. And also on the predefined buttons, you can see that the button will behave in relation to the clip length there as well. So really good changes, really like those. Do check out Josh's video on template laws as well, which will cover the different features more comprehensively and also some material from Naxport as well on exactly what version six will do to your template. So one of the things that I just wanted to cover off today was the graphic descriptor, which is a handy tool. There's a shortcoming here. So let's just move to this angle and this shot goes in, so let's code that. So shot own on target and let's plot where it is. So it's uh, there. It's gonna plot that as a green circle because the descriptor is set to plot as a green circle here. If I just show you, so every time that's clicked, it will display on the graphic descriptor as a green circle, even though my shot is a yellow cross because the descriptor will override that. I've also done the same with off target. That will be a red circle, even though I'm clicking the shot, which is a yellow X. So let's give an example of that one. So we go to something that happens uh, shortly, so 39, right? So we can say shot own on target, which it would say that that would be green, but now we're saying offside. So I've set offside to be a red circle. We can see where that was, we can plot there and it's gonna plot that as a red circle. So now when we go over to the timeline environment, you'll be able to see on the pitch graphic here that when I click on shots, you can see one green and one red. So if we want to add these to the presentation, you can open up an independent presentation window and you can create two lists. One, for, we're just doing an example here, one for shot on target and another for shots offside. Now here I can press the hotkey C and I can pick whatever color I want. And here I can do the same, press C and pick whatever color I want as well. And then it's white font there, so I can just press the F key and it will change the font to black. I can go to these two entries to the timeline, press um, three for shot on, and it will populate itself up in the window. And I can go to this one for shot off and press three and it'll populate itself up there. Now you'll notice that I pressed the number three when I was in this mosaic view um, with the video playback window here. So when I go to the actual presentation window, both of these are gonna be in mosaic window as well. If I do the same here, but I click on one, so it's just showing that angle, I can press three so if I press three now and add that in, you can see that that angle has been adopted for the for the clip. And you can go to um, do the same with this one, go to the mosaic view, add three, and then you'll see in the presentation that the mosaic view has been adopted there to display in the presentation. Thank you very much for watching.